My name is Sua Park. I'm the director of the opera program at UT Tyler School of Performing Arts. My job duty is primarily teaching applied voice lessons and producing an opera scene performance in the fall and a full production in the spring. During 10 years of my higher education, I have performed about 20 operatic roles from opera scenes and full productions, but never directed even one opera scene during those years. When I was applying for university teaching jobs, I realized that many universities, especially small ones, tend to look for a candidate who can teach both voice and opera. At my first job interview, they asked me if I could do opera directing, and my answer was, absolutely. As you have already figured it out, I have not had a degree or professional experience in opera directing before my first job. After three years of my teaching, I still wonder if my staging would be considered legitimate. And I thought that many other novice opera teachers might have asked the same question. How do we know if we are teaching opera correctly? Have you ever wondered? I feel an introduction to my teaching place is in order to address the topic better. The University of Texas at Tyler Performing Arts has 78 music majors, 16 voice majors, and 8 to 9 students in the opera slash music, music theater course. Our primary venue for both opera scenes and full opera productions has been in the Braithwaite Recital Hall which seats 166. We are now rehearsing Mozart's The Magic Flute for the Spring Opera production, which will happen in 2000 seat Vaughn Auditorium. Since the Braithwaite Recital Hall pop purposes for recitals and concerts, choices of lightings are limited to a concert, stage left, stage right, and a house light. The lights are only controlled from the sound booth upstairs without means of communication between the booth and the backstage. For opera productions in the recital hall, we use headsets for me to communicate from the sound booth to the backstage. Let me show you the way from the sound booth to the backstage. I take this way to take a bow after performances. Now, Let's go to the Vaughn Auditorium. The Vaughn Auditorium hosts many professional music groups, including famous Broadway shows. This venue offers more options for staging. However, voice projection can be a challenge, especially for younger students. Students will perform the magic flute without amplification. However, an orchestra shell will be placed for the projection of voice. We are now entering our costume and prop room. We are storing costumes, props, furniture, and backdrops in this small room. Sometimes, organizing can be very challenging in this room. Now, introduction of our facility is over. Please welcome Vanessa Stanley and Taylor McNatt on stage. They will perform the Susanna and Marcellina's duet from The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. Dr. Robert Desimone from UT Austin Butler Opera Center will give a master class on this performance. Dr. Desimone has 30 plus years of experience as an opera director nationally and internationally. During this master class, he will critique on my staging and demonstrate the different perspectives between voice teachers and opera directors staging. 